What if you knew with absolute certainty that everything in your life, both the easy and the difficult, would come to good? Perhaps believing in the good of a special night out on the town, a big bonus at work, or a new baby in the family is easy. But what if you knew also that smashing your car into a telephone pole, breaking your iPod, and even saying goodbye to a good friend for the last time would all benefit you beyond your imagination? The truth is that you don't really know to what any one event or circumstance in your life will lead. You might destroy yourself with what you desire, or reach the highest glory through a path of pain. As much as you exert your control over what happens around you, sooner or later you must face your distinct limits. Life happens to you as much or more than you happen to it. I'm not saying you can't attain your desire. Allah says you get what you strive after, but you certainly can't pick every stone on your path or even the exact path itself. You can't have everything on your terms in your way. You can't stop a hurricane and you can't unbreak your leg. You're going to have to accept that certain things have been put in place for you whether you like them or not. But what if tranquility weren't fulfillment of desire or getting your way? Newsflash, it's not. What then if tranquility were nothing but surely knowing that every moment of life is a benefit sent with meaning for you, extracted from difficulty through patience, extracted from ease through thankfulness? Fifty thousand years before Allah created the universe in which we live, He created the pen. With it He wrote everything that would happen in the universe from beginning to end. What you are wearing, what you ate today, and the next word out of your mouth, Allah had already written for you, not only before you existed or before the earth existed, but before the whole universe was. But don't blame Allah for a sour apple or a bad case of the flu. Don't blame Him either for your grandma dying. Without all you've encountered, you wouldn't be you. But there's another matter. You can't blame Allah either for the bad choices you've made because you really did make those choices. Allah doesn't operate quite like things do here on earth. Not quite the same at all. He created worlds upon worlds. And if He can do that, then He can decree everything to happen before it happens and still include space for your own free will. And that's true whether you accept reality or not.